Hello folks, how are we doing? Today is Thursday, it is the 15th day of July 2021, I do believe it is. Um, it's early in the morning, I, I could not sleep last night again because of my knee. I tried a number of things, several of them. Uh, I am not looking for sponsorship with this video because these things <laughs> don't work. Um, getting my x-ray today. Uh, hopefully then my doctor will be allowed to give me the injection in my knee which will uh, alleviate some of the pain temporarily. Uh, we are assuming that it is osteoarthritis and that the uh, material in between the bones in my right knee um, has been worn down or whatever. I think it might be something else because it came on so suddenly, um, but we'll see. Hi, this is not about my health. This is about censorship again. Uh, YouTube has taken me off, uh, removed this video. Uh, 60 Minutes of Jeff Epstein's story, Whitewash. They have, um, they have um, given me a community guideline strike um, and said that I was uh, harassing and cyberbullying somebody in the video. Either 60 Minutes or Jeffrey Epstein or Hollywood in general. I, I don't know. Um, I know that 60 Minutes did two things. They did one thing, um, a video around the same time talking about, I'll explain why I got to tell you this in a second. Um, they did one thing talking about Jeffrey Epstein's uh, history. And then right after that, they did another thing talking about what happened with uh, the uh, suicide uh, in prison in jail and of course the video they did talking about the suicide in jail starts off the same way so many alt fucking media fucking videos start off with let's just start off right off the bat Jeffrey Epstein is dead he's dead now we'll discuss the quote controlled opposition the debate you're allowed to have did he commit suicide was he killed did some other fucking prisoner get to him? You can have that conversation. But you have to start off with he's dead. Which clearly I didn't stick to. Uh, I was looking for this. Because I wanted to pull it up and see. Because they say you've got seven days to look at it. Seven days. Here it is. This was 12 hours ago. They did this to me 12 fucking hours ago. It's gone. Even I can't watch it. It's gone. Here's the channel. Uh, here's the content. Uh, January 6, 2020. I published two that day. Um, it has been removed. If you go to this thing here where you can take a video and download it yourself and save it gone. You can't download it. Uh, if you go to the actual uh, location on YouTube where it says it'll be available to you and you alone for seven days, it's gone. You can't play it. If you go to the actual link where it is, it's gone. You can't play. Twelve hours. And it's fucking eight, nine o'clock in the morning. And I've been doing I've been working on this since eight o'clock. So they yanked it last night. The only reason I, I saw it for a brief moment in time was because I couldn't sleep and I was awake. Um, and I checked on YouTube and I saw this. Um, and then by nine o'clock in the morning or, or eight o'clock in the morning, really, 
the following morning, it was completely gone. Even I couldn't view it. Even I can't view it. So why are they doing that? They're doing that because they don't want you to be able to defend yourself. They don't want you to be able to file an appeal and have information and facts to back it up. They don't want you to be able to download it and to take it off of the fucking... See, you can't download it. All you can do is delete it permanently, which they've already done. So even I can't see it. Even though they claim... I have seven days. The video is now only visible to you and will be removed entirely in seven days. That's a lie. They removed it immediately, hoping that I wouldn't even be able to see a glimpse of it because I wouldn't be on, online until 8 o'clock in the morning. And that's what they've done. So you can't intelligently watch the video and intelligently defend yourself in an appeal, which I'm going to follow. I know for a fact that this is the end of my channel. It won't be here in two weeks. They'll find something else, more than likely, something like uh, Biden kicks off fucking uh, classist racist doses to doors programming projects. Any, any number of things. <laughs> but they don't want to take me out just for medical misinformation. So they had to find some other, make jack, jack up some other bullshit to turn me into a threat. I was cyber harassing and bullying people, uh, which I was not. Unless, of course, you think I was cyber bullying Jeffrey Epstein. Uh, I'm hoping Aunt BB saved a copy of it uh, so I'd be able to watch that uh, and tell what's going on with that. I'm also hoping my, 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 there you go, microphone is working. Uh, I'm, I'm going to file an appeal this time because this is fucking ridiculous. And uh, I don't have a backup. I used to have a backup on this, but this fried. So this is garbage. So I don't have a backup on that. Anyway, uh, I will be posting on um, BitChute. And then after that, I don't know where. Once they finally do away with my channel, I don't know where. Um, I certainly hope people will share this as much as possible with others. My concern is that the people who, who follow my work on YouTube... We'll just notice again, I'm gone for two weeks and they won't <laughs> know oh. what's happening. Um, the dog is barking, so I got to run. I'll do a video uh, in a second on uh, the, the the spin they're using, uh, they're doing to try to fix the situation with uh, his doses to doors program. I thank you guys very much. Hi again to BitChute Crowd, and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.